In this video, I want to talk about ultra budget builds in 2024. So this is a topic that's very, shall we say, near and dear to me. Um, I spent 15, 15 years. Yeah, I spent 15 years building, selling, buying, just doing the general local market thing. 15 years. So, and for most of that time, I was pretty much broke. I, I made enough money to survive, but it, was, it wasn't enough money to buy nice stuff or anything. I was always generations behind on my own hardware, and that was back when I was living the anytime I got nice hardware, it was money to be made. That's kind of the life that I was living then. So uh, even though I have the money for the latest and greatest stuff now, that's not where I come from. I come from ultra budget builds. So I wanted to show these off. These are all video cards that I have picked up on the local market within the past, uh, most of them more recently, but within the past mm, six months for most of it. Um, every single one of these cards I paid a hundred or less for. Um, every single one of these cards is fairly readily available, caveat, U.S. market for a hundred dollars or less. I can't speak to other markets. I'm sorry. I understand there are people that watch these videos that are in other parts of the world. I, I can only speak to the market that I have done business in. <clears throat> so these are all former flagship video cards. None of these were low end cards, and these are all these are all cards that were fairly well regarded when they were when they were new. So probably most legendary is this right here. This is an EVGA. I'll hold it up for you guys. This is an EVGA uh, uh, GeForce GTX 1080. So the non TI. This is the I think this was the nicer version they sold, the FTW2. I maybe they had a nicer one. I never I've never seen it though. I think this is the nicest 1080 non-TI I've ever seen from EVGA. <clears throat> the next one is this. This is a uh, Asus um, uh, GTX 780 Poseidon. This is a specialty uh, hybrid liquid air-cooled card that they offered that you could put into your, your custom loop if you wanted. Oh, and uh, prices. I'm sorry. $80. $25. Next card. This is a GTX 690. This was a little bit different of a card. This is a dual. You can kind of see on the back. One, two on there. Uh, so this is a dual GPU on a single board card. Uh, these were going out of style a long time ago. It's still an okay card. I mean, if you get it for... For dirt, for dirt cheap like I did, um, it's it's definitely a uh, an interesting option. <clears throat> so, uh, twenty dollars. And last, but oh my gosh, man! I always say I always get these. Only people only want to text me. There you go. They only want to text me off the dang hook when I'm making a video. I thought I put that thing on silent. Okay. So last but not least, uh, this is a Red Devil um, uh, RX 5700 XT. XT? Yeah, it's an XT. Yes, it says XT. It's an XT. So I'm going to do some, some real in-depth stuff on this card at some point. Um, this card... This card I actually bought, it was in a system that I think I paid a couple hundred dollars for. So uh, I, I used the rest of the system for stuff. I'm going to say my actual out-of-pocket cost for this, this, for this card uh, would have been somewhere in the neighborhood of $100. And I've watched, these are obtainable for $100 to $150, depending on eBay, local market conditions, that kind of thing. So all of these cards are readily available at, at reasonable prices. Probably the most common one that you're going to find a, a real good deal on is going to be the 1080, just because there's so many of them out there. It was such a well-regarded card new, and there's so many of them out there because everyone bought one, except those of us that are awesome and buy 1080 Ti's. I have one of those, two, two 1080 Ti's actually, which I also bought one of those for $100. Um, so this card and this card are in the... the, the um, the ultra budget gaming category now. I wouldn't recommend buying them if you want to have, you know, a current generation experience. Although the 780 was able to run several newer games. Uh, Cyberpunk 
was within the realm of playable. It wasn't beautiful, but it was within the realm of playable. And um, uh, depending on your definition of playable, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn was was close. Uh, if you could deal with low frame rate and poor graphics, it was it was pretty dang close. Uh, Fortnite was absolutely playable. Fortnite, we were hitting 120 FPS plus, often in the 200s. Um, for this one, the uh, the 690 is 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 a definitely do not buy unless you're you're doing a nostalgia build. The the 690 is definitely solidly nostalgia build territory. Um, I don't think it would be worth it uh, unless you have like. Um, I don't know. If you've got an old system with a high-end power supply and you see one for, say, 20 bucks like I did, uh, it could be an interesting toy to play around with. I, I wouldn't necessarily go recommend going out and looking for one, though. It's more of an interesting curiosity for a channel like mine. The 1080 is is totally different. The 1080 is in a totally different realm. The, the 1080 is going to run any game out there right now at a playable, enjoyable level. Unless you're one of those people that is only happy with 60 FPS plus, only happy at completely maxed everything, unless you're that person, this card will actually probably make you happy. And if you if you pair it with a reasonably modern set of hardware, like let's say you go out and buy a, like a cheap 12100K or 12100F, you know, maybe 16 gigs DDR4 or 5 on a, like a cheap board, you're, I mean, you're looking what, maybe... $150, $200 for the board, chip, and RAM combo. Maybe two, two fifty max, maybe give or take. Depends on the deal you find or if you go locally used. Um, you pair this card with that. There's not a single game out there that you're not going to come close. You're gonna you're gonna be I mean, maybe not max, but you're gonna be looking at like like games like Cyberpunk 2077. I think this card paired with like a 12100 is gonna hit something like ultra settings 1080p and you're probably gonna be able to run 1440 if you're going low to medium if you've got like a 32 inch 1440p it might look better to run like low to medium like 55 60 fps um at uh at, at 1440 just depending on your your setup but there's a ton of wiggle room with this card this one is even a step further. So my recent testing with the 5700 XT suggests to me that it is it's pretty much dead even with if not slightly and 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 before you take this with a total grain of salt, understand I am a Nvidia guy, okay? I'm on team green. But my recent testing with this suggests that it's on par if not slightly superior to the 1080 Ti, the 5700 XT. I have not tested the 1080 Ti recently in um, in my high-end build, in my 13900K. Uh, I've got two of them, and both of them are installed in systems where they are actively doing things. Uh, one of them's in my Plex server, and one of them is in the Plex client that drives the TV that you can sometimes see above me there. So I, I tend to... And that the TV machine is a, a small form factor, so it'd be kind of a pain to take it apart and the Plex server's being used, so I don't really want to shut it down. So I may have to buy a third 1080 Ti for the purpose of testing alone, just to put in the drawer with the testing cards. I can get them for cheap. I've seen them as cheap as like, man, I think I saw one for like 60 bucks the other day on uh, on Seattle uh, offer up. So they're obtainable for cheap. Um, and then you can pair these with, um, depending again on your local market and, and what the conditions are and what's available, uh, a, a, a good setup would be like an X99, like an i like an i7 5930K, 16 or 32 gigs DDR4, and um, uh, and and one any one of these cards, I would suggest a 1080. I will always suggest a 1080. Uh, it's just they're they're so available. They're so available on most markets and generally affordable and generally high performance. It's just it's kind of the card I'm gonna recommend in that price slot unless I see something else overtake. If I start seeing the 5700 XTs going for like sixty to eighty dollars anytime soon, um, I'll start recommending those over the 1080. But I just I'm not I'm not seeing those deals regularly enough to say that it's a better bet than the 1080. Um, but I wanted to give you guys a look at this because this is, this is stuff that I all bought recently. I mean, and I don't even, it's not like I used to like where in the past I would just sit there 
click, 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 click on the refresh button. And so I had a leg up over everyone else. I don't do that anymore. I, I hop on, I hop on the local markets usually once a day, once every couple of days. Sometimes I'll see something, it'll grab my attention. I think this card had been listed for a couple of days, if I remember right, maybe even a couple of weeks. I can't remember. I talked to the guy, but, um, he's probably watching this. Hi, if you're watching this, um, uh, but this one had been posted for at least a little bit and nobody had grabbed it. I think he might have had it posted for 50 or 60 bucks and I offered him the lower price and he took it. Um, this one, I don't even remember. I've had it sitting around for so long. This one I did, I believe, see it the moment it went up and I think I did snag this one real quick. I doubt he had anyone else that wanted it though. Not anyone that knew what they were doing. Anyone other than me that bought that 690 was going to be disappointed with that card. So there's probably a good reason I bought it. Good, good thing I bought it. Uh, and then this, I think, was part of actually, um, oh man, I think maybe somebody's old Plex server or something like that that I bought for a couple hundred dollars. Sometimes that's another thing you can do is you'll find, you'll find that you'll get your best bang for the buck for individual parts if you buy a complete system that somebody's unloading for cheap. So anyway, um, I hope this is kind of informative and gives you an idea of, you know, where the market sits in 2024, what the prices, what the availability are, and what you can actually do with these cards. So anyway, thanks for watching the video.